lucky, very lucky boy. So what is it like in a day of a Blue Peter presenter? As in what sort of stuff do we do in a day? Well, it, you don't really know what you're going to do day by day. You sort of get an email to say, oh, by the way, tomorrow you're going to be bungee jumping or you're going to be, you know, jumping off a bridge. So you need to be very brave. <laughs> yeah, I think well, once you, when you sign up for the show, you basically sign a big contract that says, yes, I will. And if they say you're going to do something, then you just do it. But um, I, I've, I've learned more things about myself over my time on Blue Peter than I ever would have done in my normal life. A lot of people tend to find things uncomfortable and just say no because they're not too sure whether they'll be able to do it or not. I've discovered things about myself that I, I never thought were possible just by saying yes to them and just giving things a go. And that's the whole Blue Peter attitude really, that's why it works. I think everyone's got their own like Blue Peter presenter that they grew up with. You were certainly ours, I think, coming from like the, the late 2000s. Who was yours? I have two. So Karen Keating, uh, who, Gloria Honiver's daughter, that's right, who sadly is no longer around, but she just a beautiful human being. And she, she was one of the first people that I saw on TV, really, who had that kind of warmth. You know, you felt like you knew her. You felt like she was... She died. 41 years old, I think she died at Cal. She was gone way too soon, yeah, for sure. She was um, she was one of my heroes. And uh, for me today, see, I don't really get starstruck. I've spent the past 20 years interviewing celebrities. But Sarah Green's here today. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I, I watched Sarah Green when I was a kid. So I watched Going Live with her and Philip Schofield and Gordon the Gopher. Gordon the Gopher actually was my first boss, believe it or not. Um, but I've never met Sarah before. Today's the first day I've met her. She's, she's the most perfect human being on earth. 